everyone so today's video is going to be college roommate advice and tips for being a good roommate because if you're going to college 98 percent people live with a roommate and if you're used to not sharing a room your whole life and now you have to be a roommate maybe you just need these tips just to make you more aware and mindful of being a good roommate and just tips for having a college roommate just to make your experience living with a roommate a better one because unfortunately bad roommate situations are very very common in college a lot of people i know and talked to said they had horrible roommate situations so hopefully this can help solve a lot of those issues and hopefully your roommate is watching this video too so that way it'll be a really great living situation this year and you guys will have a good experience so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay, so my first tip is if you guys haven't met each other I would try and introduce yourself if it's either random or in the summer so like now if you guys are near each other and around the same city meet up beforehand so that way when you guys actually go and into school and meet each other the first day for moving day it's not awkward and you guys have already met each other and know of each other or if you already got your random roommate just message them uh, on social media and be like hey I'm blah 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 I'm your roommate and stuff like that so you guys are already talking beforehand that makes it a lot less awkward if you guys have already been in communication before you guys have even actually moved in and lived with each other because I feel like that situation would be super awkward. Me and my roommate didn't meet up before but we did like text and stuff beforehand even though like we still hadn't met each other in person it still wasn't like as awkward as I feel like it would have been if we like completely didn't say anything and just showed up and be like hi I'm your roommate so I would definitely introduce yourself beforehand. The second thing is to coordinate. So if you guys are texting over the summer and stuff, start coordinating what you guys are going to bring, if you guys want to have a certain color scheme or anything like that. So that way you guys aren't bringing like doubles of things. So me and my roommate coordinated and we're like, okay, I'll bring the refrigerator, can you bring the microwave in, etc. Stuff like that so you guys aren't buying double of everything and that way it's a lot cheaper since you guys are splitting the cost of all those things. So I would definitely make sure you guys coordinate and if you guys plan on having like a similar color scheme um, for your room maybe talk about that if you guys want to like match and stuff so definitely coordinate with your roommate beforehand and talk about what things you guys plan on bringing and all that stuff and the third thing is to establish guidelines or like rules in the beginning of the year so that way you guys already have those like guidelines in the beginning so with this like start establishing the sleeping schedules know when they're gonna be in the room when they're not and if they could sleep with the light on what time they want to be in bed and have like complete silence all those types of things so that way it won't create a bigger issue later on if you're aware of that in the beginning and talk about that um it'll help you so much in the long run so that way you're very mindful of all those little things. So just lay out your wishes for the year and then allow them to do the same so that way you guys can have those little guidelines to follow throughout the year just to be a respectful roommate to the other. The fourth thing is to be considerate of your roommate. Like for example, if you know if she is sleeping, don't bring a ton of friends over and be loud. That's extremely rude. And if you know she stayed in from going out that night because she has a test early morning, don't come in all loud and late and bring other people over. Like just be very considerate of your roommate and put yourself in their shoes. So just don't be rude and think about all those things. So now for tips of being a good roommate, I think the number one thing is to have communication. Like communication is key to every relationship you have. So definitely communicating, like I said, establishing your wishes and just be upfront about certain things that either bother you or not because you don't know if like those simple little thing is like driving your roommate crazy or and vice versa. Like you really don't know. So be open and talk about anything that's bothering you because you just tell them that they'll be like, oh yeah, I didn't even realize, like sorry. So like there's just those little things because you don't even know. I probably have done so many things that I didn't realize that was being annoying, but probably was. And so just communicate and talk about those little things so that way you can alleviate any of those issues. Number two is to clean up after yourself, especially in common areas. This is so huge. If you guys are in a dorm or share any common areas, I know if other colleges, like some dorms, had like a living and a kitchen area and don't leave all your stuff out in those common areas so just be clean and pick up after yourself if you guys have separate rooms or whatever like who cares if your room's messy or whatever but if you guys are gonna share that common area be very clean or if you're in the dorm and you guys share a bathroom keep all your stuff clean don't leave it all out like I feel like that's so rude if someone's getting ready and they just left all their makeup out in the bathroom when you use the same space like that's so rude so make sure you just clean up after yourself I feel like that's a very obvious one but especially 
common areas and areas you guys share that's not just your space at that point like you guys are sharing all of that i just would just make sure none of your stuff's out in any of the common areas that's like a pretty golden rule if all your roommates do that it, they will always be clean so yeah the third thing is to not take anything or use anything without asking that is extremely rude and if unless your roommate gave you permission like you guys can use this whatever it doesn't matter taking stuff and using things without asking is so rude so don't just go into your roommate's closet and be like oh i'm gonna wear this shirt and then like ask them like once you're already out wearing it like hey by the way can i wear this like okay thanks for going through my closet and getting my stuff luckily i never had to have this situation happen to me but it happened to my friends and i probably would have been so mad if someone did that to me especially if we're not like on that level of being super close if it was like any of my friends now i probably wouldn't care but if you're not on that level that's so rude like just don't take or use anything without asking even if my roommate was gone and i knew she wouldn't mind at all like me using something i still would shoot her a text and be like Hey, like, can I borrow your blow dryer? Like, whatever, stuff like that. That's weird, just going into their stuff and using it without, like, permission. So make sure you guys do that and always ask. Number five is to not have guests over all the time. This could be really annoying. Of course, like, if you guys want to have people over on the weekends or a couple times a week, whatever. But if you're, this is happening every single day, it would be so annoying personally i'm glad that never happened to us because that would drive me crazy especially because you're in such a small space and if you're busy all day and all you want to do is just go home wear pajamas and watch netflix or youtube whatever and you have people in your room every single day oh that would be so annoying so don't do that and always tell your roommate if you are bringing people especially if you have a significant other that you're bringing always always tell your roommate and give her a heads up that you are bringing someone so that way she knows and that way she's aware and it's just a respectful thing to do is just to be like hey i'm bringing blah 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 so that way you know and could either leave or whatever just always let them know and give them a heads up number six is to take turns with chores don't rely on only one person to do everything always switch it out who's gonna do what me and my roommate we never had like a set schedule of, of doing oh like i'm gonna do this on this day like, for example every week we would have the cleaning service come to our bathroom and clean out the bathroom but you'd have to take out all your stuff out of the shower and stuff so if she did it that day i would put the stuff away and if vice versa it was just kind of like that type of system and if I was taking out my trash and I saw her trash was full I'd take out hers and, and same with her if she saw my trash was full and she was taking out hers she would just take out mine too so it was just never all on one person so just make sure you guys aren't relying on one person to do everything make sure you're splitting up the chores and taking turns with that number seven is if you guys are sleeping in the same room so like the tiny dorm whatever and you guys have different schedules of when you're supposed to be up be mindful of alarms you guys i know i'm guilty of someone who literally will put like five alarms before i have to get up and i did this lit this past year because i was in an apartment so i was in my own room so i was took advantage of that but when i was in a dorm i wouldn't let it go past like the second ring because even though we did wake up around the same time every time i just did not want to be annoying and have my alarm go off like 10 times like when she had to be up way later than I did so be really mindful of that if you have an 8 a.m. and your roommate doesn't have to be up to like noon do not set annoying alarms at least lower the volume and put it like right next to you so you can get up right away um, but just don't have it like going on and on all, all morning that would be so annoying <laughs> the last thing is just to be friendly to their friends so if they're ever bringing someone back or having their group of friends like don't be like rude and like not talk to them always just go and introduce yourself and just make them feel welcome because you're bringing them into essentially your home too so just be nice you'd want her to treat your friends with respect and be friendly to them so do the same and just be nice and be a good person i feel like if everyone did all these things there would be like no issues so just be mindful and be respectful that's probably like the main things to being a good roommate is like being mindful respectful and having communication and you guys will have a great living situation and of course if something ends up not going right and even though the person may seem really nice in the beginning and then all of a sudden they become crazy who knows you guys can always talk to your RA to get out of those crazy roommate situations if you guys have already tried your best to have all those um, conversations and try to work things out before going to RA and things still aren't improving try and talk to your RA to move out of that room because that is your home and you want to be comfortable and not have to worry about that and come back to that every single day so if things escalate and aren't getting better definitely try and get out of that living situation 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know there weren't a lot of roommate advice videos when I was like looking to go to college So I thought I'd make this one for you guys and hope it's helpful at all So if you guys enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys